Well, greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back once again for the very first time to the Thoughts and Crap Show. Where today, as per usual, it's your host, Anjo, here with uh, part 21, I believe, of Mega Man Zero, the Game Boy Advance version, here on Retro Classics. Hope you guys are all doing well today, and... On today's episode, we are going back to Neo Arcadia Tower for what I'm fairly certain are the final three Cyber Elves in the game. And, yep, there are three slots remaining. So that seems correct. And I did grind a little bit for crystals, I believe, in between episodes. Pretty sure I did. Um, we talked about that fairly recently on a previous episode about how to grind, where to grind, that kind of thing. Ah, uh, right, we needed Kenite and we needed 1250. Right. So, that should be every Cyber Elf that needs raising. Okay, so all the hackers are done. are done. I don't think any of the smaller ones need raising. I think it's only the ones that have the larger slots. Yeah, seems to be the indication. Okay, so yeah, we only need three more, which should all be in this next episode, or this next mission. I believe there are two during the mission and one for the boss. And I think I know where they are. I don't have the guide in front of me today. Um, but I do have my notes. So I think we'll be okay. I think we just go back. Um, I'm pretty sure one of them are like, oh, it's this. Oh, I hate this one. Okay, yeah, I think I know where they are. Whoa. It has been a hot minute since I've even played this. to remember how to do this. There's one. We have to take the lift on this one, I believe. said these are probably going to be uh, a little bit light on commentary what the dude okay well I'm glad I could damage boost that fucking really Wait, that was one of them What 
the... Okay. Do I have to take... Dude, I jumped. I was trying to dash jump to the... Okay. So I have to take out a couple of the flying ones to get the other one. Okay. I mean, I did take a little bit of unnecessary damage, so it's not the worst. I hate how they're just, like, ready. from here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Okay, so this guy... Just take him out twice, right? Son of a... It's been a little bit since I've played this. <laughs> it's just... Just so you guys know, I'm a little bit out of practice. Um, there were a few days there where my throat was just really bothering me, so I couldn't really, like, record. Um, it was pretty much... Self-inflicted. Oh, son of a... Hurry, took too much damage. What? Why not? kind of fell behind in my recording schedule because like yeah there was that and there were some other things like just physically I wasn't doing well and I was like trying to you know keep up with some other things and so yeah the recording schedule suffered once again but I didn't miss a day didn't miss an upload so Really? I was on the... Okay. It doesn't 
count. There we go. Like the hitboxes for the platforms are, are like so fucking annoying. Oh, that was lucky. I really thought that would work. Dude, they are a little too good at dodging. Yeah, I can't make that jump, can I? Okay, so that one's going there. Right there. Okay, so it should be safe now. Ah. Why did I do that? That was so dumb. Ah, okay. I forgot about the shocking platforms. Um, yeah, you kind of just have to have it memorized and do it in, all in one go. Preferably without taking much damage. It's just, yeah. I guess at this point, rank probably doesn't matter. I should probably just keep that in mind. Why did I jet dash jump? That's not smart. They specifically put those spikes like that, so if you dash jump, you'll die. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I was hoping we would get both of these missions in today's episode, but... Why did I do that? No, no, I don't care. Just take the platform. Fuck. 
Oh, I got that one early. Stop doing the. There we go. be like a little bit more careful with my jumps. Son of a bitch. I forgot there were spikes right there. Okay, I was just trying to look kind of ahead a little bit. I forgot about the spikes there. It just kind of sucks because of like how the traps are laid out in this game and how like zoomed in it is and like how fast you move it's like if something is slightly off screen and you're just like kind of waiting ever so slightly for the camera to catch up it's like oh wait there's a death trap right there and then you you, know, you just die so kind of fucked up a little bit um And I feel like various Mega Man games are like handle that in, in different ways, because um, that's kind of always been a problem. But some of the games are definitely better about it than others. weapon I was on and wanted to make sure. Okay, so I need that one to respawn. Apparently that wasn't long enough. I, I don't like how precarious this is. Could have been a lot worse. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, that was so risky. Why did I risk that? Okay, that was good. No. I'm just gonna have to. There we go. What the dude is. Things weren't even out yet. So fucking dirty. I'm not gonna risk one up right there. Out of the danger zone. Danger zone. Okay, that went pretty well, actually. Uh, I 
don't remember if this guy has an elemental weakness. I don't think he does. Yeah, it's yellow devil logic, like he's... Whoa! Just say fuck it. I don't, I don't want to retry. I don't want to do that again. Like getting all the way up here and everything. safe. I mean, I'm probably going to reload the save, but... Okay, so that's going for the grab. usually safe for that. Okay. Don't remember that attack. B rank. Process data, load. I already said yes. Whoops. I meant to save and then load. <laughs> like save on a different file. Um, it's okay. I think I got it this time. A little bit of damage taken is not nearly as bad as going for like um, a retry, so just try to keep that in mind. Spawn. Okay, don't use the wall jumps here. 
Okay, that was bad. That was supposed to be a dash jump. Better to fall, though. I got a bad synchronization here. Okay, I can just skip the jump on that, the side jump on that. Fuck. Okay. Let's play it safe. would have been better. Oh. I can farm this guy. Um... Should I just do the pogo thing? Oh, I forgot to switch. Whoops. <laughs> what I need. Yeah, that is easier. Maybe I should just start with a freaking yeah, the charge shot and then switch to the saber. It's less damage, but I'm okay with that. Or wait, does only the head count? Only the head counts, okay. I played smart. sucks. I'll give it one retry, see what the score is at the end. I just stay in the corner and then wait for it? And if it does come to me, then... Just slash it? Oh. That can be bad, though. Is that a different death animation? It's still 67. I mean, we're still on A average.
feel like I can get that on my first try now, though. Oh shit. God damn, I hate it when it does that. Kind of sucks because like if you can do a wall kick and then release the charge slash, the timing on it is so fucking precarious. Did count. Okay, it's this part, and I think I should just stick to the buster for most of the rest of this. <gasps> okay, could have been worse. Probably could have made it right there. Fuck. No, okay. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Please stay dead. Yeah, you did. No health? Really? There we go. Okay, cool and calm, cool and calm. Play it safe, play it smart. That does work. Okay. That was some bullshit. What? His hitbox went all the way up there. Whatever, I, I will take a retry. Fuck that. Dude, that is way higher than it was, like... That was outside of his pixels for fucking sure. can hit him with the buster when it's low. Okay. Okay, so just kind of play defensively. Okay. Just kind of react. 
see why he does that now, though. Yeah, that went way better. Okay, no, I can I can get an A rank on this. Yeah, it's like exactly the same. Um okay, process data load first one, yep. Yeah. Yeah, as long as I can get the climb, okay. Like, not take too much damage and then just kind of nail that boss fight on my first try. Should be okay. about a little bit of damage here or there, it's fine. Doesn't matter. Should be on the buster. Nope. Dude, so your shit can go off screen? My shit can't? I should just do this the other way. Should be the Cyber Elf, yep. Yeah. Over here, buddy. Thank you. Fuck, why did I do that? I knew there were spikes there. Second time I died like that. Alright. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Again, mission, the arcade, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I'm sorry this episode has so many failures on it, guys. Like, it has been a lot harder making these more, more recent episodes, just because, like, I've had to, like, practice the game and, like, throw out a lot of footage. So, like, it's... It's, it's a lot more prep. Why does it just walk off of the fucking platform sometimes when I'm like right there? It's not how the game has conditioned me to like know that use platforms. Okay, that was way easier. It's fine. Don't try to wall jump this one. Should be able to get it here. Yep. Okay. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, just avoid damage. Nope, it's gonna be on the top now. 
the side, this should be fine. Whoa, dude, that... Okay. Need to watch the one above as well, apparently. It's fine. Okay, now it's down. Okay, so... Fuck. Those two are synced. That's fine. Motherfucker. You know what? It doesn't matter. A little damage here or there. Does not matter. I don't need E crystals right now. I need fucking hell. You kidding me, dude? the hell did the guy below me respawn? Fuck, I forgot to actually switch. Are you fucking kidding me? Fucking kidding me. Granted, that was not my cleanest run. I got a little bit of over, a little bit overzealous. I'll concede that. Actually, you know what? It might be better to intentionally not get A rank. Because hear me out. You know how the bosses have, like, these special moves that they weren't using in the first run? Basically, from what I understand, from what I was, like, reading and shit, uh, the reason they do that is because I have A rank. So, like, the final boss is going to have that, too. But if I just drop below a rank, it's not going to be a problem. That was my first time taking him out. Why did he drop the elf? Not that I'm complaining. I'm not going to retry before the boss, though. I mean, after all, I think we have one more. Let's at least show what A rank looks like. Because, I mean, we're like five minutes past the, the episode length right now. Which is fine, um, and I did save after like a not very good run. But I think the boss rush comes next. So... Theoretically, we could make the boss rush easier. By not... By not getting A rank. Like going in there with like an intentionally lower light rank. Because for the Jackson thing, I don't think it matters.
Son of a bitch. I fucking hate the amount of knockback and the amount of respawn, dude, it is so fucking stupid. Right here, bud. The fact that these platforms are not actually as long or as wide as they look is horseshit. Oh, I was already on the... Wait, why? I heard the sound effect and it didn't actually switch my weapon. Or maybe I hit it twice? Dude, that was like perfect. Legit don't know how the fuck he respawned. That's fine. And I took a little bit of damage, but as long as I don't take too much damage here, I think we'll be okay. I think that's the way to do this, just play defensively. Wait for him to move. Those free shots when we can get them. Damn it, I did not mean to release the button. Should be a rank probably i think i did okay on time i think i did okay on damage it's 81 really it docked me that much for time all right that's fine So I'm going to save to this file, yeah. I'm not going to save over the last one. This is if we want to go back, I think. Feed. Okay, so we have all of them. Good. They're all fully raised. And I'm pretty sure this is the final one. still in A rank, there should be a boss rush coming up. Oh, there's still a little level, okay. This is the boss rush, right? Yes, it is. Okay. I just want to check something. I 
don't really want to do this right now because we are out of time, but I want to make sure the bosses actually have their like ultimate shit. Whoa, the hell you didn't do that before. He's a bad example because you can kind of beat him before he does much of anything. Okay, this guy. He's kind of the same. I'm pretty sure fire is also his shit. Oh. Yeah. I hate fighting this guy. Okay, it's a bad example too. <laughs> I think they give you health, yeah, at the end of each one. This guy was electricity. I don't remember seeing his ultimate thing either. Or wait, did we? Yeah, I forgot the buster is like way easier for him. Uh, okay, so bad example. Um, Alright, so here's what I'm going to do, guys, because I, I have a feeling, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep the second... Oh, wait, no, we're keeping the third, right? Yeah, yeah, process data, let's load the second one, which is still an A rank, and after that mission. So process data, save data to the third slot, which I was keeping because of the grinding spot. It turns out getting enough E crystals was not really a problem. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to load the first one. We're going to begin mission. And I'm going to intentionally fail it so hard that we get a lower rank. Like, I'll still beat the mission, but I'm going to... For example, I'm going to get retries. There is a 1-up in this mission. So, like... I think if we get, like, a super low score, it will drop me below A rank. And that will make the last couple bosses, like, a little bit easier. Because, like... Like I said before, I don't think rank matters for getting Jackson. And once you have Jackson, it's, like... It's kind of the only requirement to get, like, the ultimate mode. And the only requirement to get hard mode is to beat the game. Like, if you want to play through hard mode. Like, it doesn't matter. But you do need to get Jackson. You know, that's actually fine. It's actually fine. Um, let's go ahead and retry, because there is going to be... I was hoping... To, I think 9 is actually the maximum. And 1-ups.
It's actually not a bad way to beat the attack, honestly. As long as you're careful not to jump into the spikes. Here, buddy. Oh shit. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. There we go. And I would rather, even though I'm going to intentionally retry this, I would rather retry at the actual boss fight so I don't have to fucking go through this crap again. try like fuck damn it as long as I retry um like multiple times it should Sorry, I'm focusing. Um, ah, damn it. As long as I retry multiple times, it should give me, like, essentially zero points for the mission. If I hit retry before this point, I think you have to start at the bottom of the tower once again, and I'm just getting super fucking tired of that climb. Because I believe each time you retry it knocks you, like, 15 points off your score? So we should be okay in that regard. Yeah, pretty much got this fight down pat now. Kill me now. And I think the retries like add to your time too. And of course, like the damage keeps accumulating. So like as long as I I think just retrying one more time will probably like set my score down to like zero. I don't think. I'm just gonna let him kill me from the get-go. There's no sense in fighting him. It just takes longer. Yeah, 
The bouncing attack was the main one that was fucking me up. And now that I'm not really concerned about that, actually, you know, I could just have it retry one more time. Because, like, I could... Not that I need to farm for one-ups, but I kind of want to make sure... kind of want to make sure the game actually, like... Oh, if you don't mash, it, you don't break from the grab? Oh, well, that's brutal. I kind of want to make sure we get, like, a zero, and so it, like knocks my score down to B. I don't know if that'll actually be enough, though. You know, we'll give it one more retry. It's fine. I am going to keep that third save file, though. Just because if score actually does matter, then we can go back and do the thing, but... It's just when I was uh, researching shit for this game, um, I kept finding conflicting information. So it's hard to, like... It's hard to say definitively, you know? Easy dog. Yeah, it's just the bounce thing. Once I noticed, is like, oh, okay. So it actually changes the trajectory a bit when you hit him. Oh, right. <laughs> I have to go to the right and talk to Shield. 35. Okay, but we're down to B. So that's good. Zero on clear time. Zero on enemies. Really? Zero on enemies? How many was I supposed to take out? Whatever. Zero damage, zero points for retries. Oh, zero points. So I don't have to retry that many times. Still, it knocked me down to B, so that's good. So that means none of the bosses are going to be using their, like, super attacks, basically. Um... I did say we were going to do A rank for every mission. For the most part, that's true. And I did, kind of. But it's more of like... Not each individual mission. It's just that was one of the things that I read. That it's like, oh, you have to keep A rank. You have to get A rank in every mission. It's like, no, that's not accurate. It's a, it's a cumulative score, as I found out. Like over time, it changes based on your performance. It's not necessarily... Because on one of the other missions, like you can get like an 80-something and keep A rank. It just depends on how you've done previously, you know? So it's best to start the game with like as high of a score as possible on that first mission, and then just keep high scores for the first couple missions. Um, that way, if you drop down below 90 or something, it doesn't really matter, you know? Um, so I'm going to save on the first file, because that's like... I think this is the way to go. But... I think we're also good for now. So I did get all the elves. Yeah, we do have everything, okay. I got the, you know, one, two, and three, right, right, right. Okay, uh, because the other thing I was reading was just, like, literally said, actually, all you have to do is beat the game, get every cyber elf, 
and raise them all. Like, the rank has nothing to do with anything. Except for, you know, the bosses use, like, stronger attacks in normal mode, which they would... They use by default in hard mode. It's like, that's... Pretty fucking dumb. And early in the game, you do have to get A rank. At least for a while, to get access to the back room. Like, behind shield, like her bedroom or whatever, with to get that cyber elf. Because you have to get every cyber elf. But after that point, like, it doesn't matter. But that was one of the conflicting information things that I was reading, is people were saying, oh, you have to get A rank on every mission to get that. I was like, no. I went there, like, after the first mission. <laughs> like, but maybe that was because I beat the game already? And it would... Oh, I didn't feed him. Oh, shit. I almost really fucked up. Oh, because I, I loaded the other save where I didn't have him raised yet. Wow, that could have been really bad. Alright. <laughs> I would have been like, wait, we didn't get Jackson? What the fuck happened? Um, okay. And that's why I was double checking. Always double check your work, guys. Uh, okay. So all the hackers are good. All the animals are good. And I'm pretty sure you never have to feed the smaller ones. Wait, what was that? Oh, it was just the way it was flashing. Okay. Yeah, so all the hackers and all the animals are good. Uh, all the nurses... Good. Okay. Yeah, so all of them are fed. Good. And so I don't forget in the future, like I just did, process data, save data, first file, yes. Okay. Cool. Because inevitably I'm probably going to reload that and then forget that I didn't feed what's his name. And then probably beat the game, and then, yeah. Uh, yeah, manual saving back in the day, you really had to be, like, double sure, like, triple sure of all the shit. Um, yeah, <laughs> you had to, yeah, double check. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for now. Thanks for being here, guys. Greatly appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, again, going forward, we'll figure out, like, do you actually need A rank? Does it matter? Um, specifically, we're just trying to get Jackson, because that's how you unlock multi ultimate mode, is by doing the Jackson run, then using all the elves, including Jackson, and then beating the game, and then you can play ultimate mode. Which, yeah, in total, I think there's only the three modes, just like the default, normal, hard, and ultimate. Pretty sure. But, yeah, it's going to do it for today. We probably only have a few more episodes because I'm not going to do a whole new run. Uh, I might show in the near future, like, what ultimate mode is. We might do that for the final episode. It depends. Um, I don't think beating the game is going to be difficult at all once we have Jackson, because then... Once we have Jackson, I can just use every Cyber Elf. So I might just blast through the game real quick. Because at that point, rank won't matter either. I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, we probably only have a few more episodes. Uh, the next episode is going to be... Probably beating this game cycle, more than likely, because I'm pretty sure this is the last mission. Or I think.
think they let you save after the boss rush? I don't remember. Um, this one shouldn't take too long, though. And again, I don't think rank matters. So depending on if rank matters, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, because if it does, then I have to reload the other save where I still have a rank and then try to keep a rank until the end of the credits and all that shit. But again, like trying to, we already had the member's choice poll end the other day. Uh, Xeno Gears is coming up soon. I want to get that started. Um, and I can tell you guys uh, kind of want that to get going. So yeah, it's um, we're wrapping this up, but we're going to be making the next couple episodes are going to be interesting. So hope you guys are looking forward to that. Um, anyway, it's going to do it for today. Thanks for being here, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And of course, before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Crap Show members, the amazing people who make it possible, Navalis Draconis, Aaron Schick, WTF Corey, and Rogue XOX. Thank you so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly via channel membership. In case you guys are wondering, WTF Corey and Rogue XOX have an at in front of their screen name because those are YouTube handles. They have YouTube channels of their own. Definitely go check them out when you get a chance. Um, YouTube handles make YouTube URLs a lot easier in case you're unfamiliar. You can just do youtube.com slash at the uh, screen name. Or if you're using the YouTube search bar, I think it works the same. It's more likely, like, if you're searching for, like, an ad thing, then I'm pretty sure YouTube search is like, oh, you're looking for a channel, not like a video or a playlist, you know? Um, but yeah, and if you guys want to be incredibly awesome like these amazing people and get in on all those membership benefits, check out that join button down below. To your start, $3 a month, it's only 10 cents a day, it gets you into all the basic stuff including getting to vote on series to get made here on the channel via the members' choice polls. It's a thing we do once a month for a full seven days, so 25% of the time we do have one going. And as I mentioned earlier, we did just have one wrap up. That was the one for August, uh, deciding the series that will be following Mega Man Zero, which, yes, is going to be Xenogears, PS1 classic. I've actually never played it all the way through. It's a game I've had access to for over 20 years now. And um, I've started it probably like a dozen times, and then other stuff always came up. And so I've just never finished it before. Um, so yeah, I'm very much looking forward to that. And uh, thanks, to, thanks to everybody who voted on that one. Very much appreciate it. But we will have one for September coming up at some point uh, in the near, well, sometime during September. Uh, not sure when that's going to be, so stay tuned for a future announcement on that. And uh, if you are a new channel member, any of the previous members' choice polls that you may have missed, uh, you can still vote on those over on the membership tab. Um, basically, they stay open until you vote on them, and then retroactive input will be considered for future members' choice polls. So, um, yeah, if you see options that you like on there, or please, if you just want to leave your input, um, yeah, it's very likely one of those options uh, will come back in a future poll. But this is an approximation of future announcements from the past, so if you guys want all the announcements as they happen and the bell doesn't work for you, I totally get it, it doesn't work for me either. Uh, but there's three other ways to do that. Let's stay up to date, that is. Uh, the community tab here on the channel, the Farts and Crap Show Twitter, or the Discord. I always post on all three whenever there's an announcement, so regardless of which one of those works for you, uh, you can stay up to date. And links for those are down in the description, also in the channel channel banner. There we go. But that is going to do it for today. So thank you all once again for being here, guys. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a splendiferous day.